Well, Andrew, uh, thanks for joining us here at Blunder Park before this Stockport game um, and for providing an update for the fans. You know, we've had a few things going on in the last few weeks. Um, obviously, today is Debbie Cook's final game as CEO, yeah. and I'm sure you've got some uh, some messages for her today. Absolutely. No, it's a, obviously a, a bittersweet day, really, and she's done a fantastic job for us, uh, uh, leading the transformation over the last last two and a half years for uh, for the club. Uh, she's going off to, uh, to a fantastic job at the EFL. I'm hoping that she'll bring us a, th a few extra points from uh, that position of influence uh, at, that, at that top table. But uh, no, she's, uh, she's done a fantastic job you know, right across the organisation from, you know, from the, the match day experience. You know, she's overseen big changes over the last couple of years through to the first team and again looking very carefully at all the different elements of incremental improvement that we've tried to introduce, whether it's nutrition, mental health, travel, kit pitches you know, she's been she's been involved in all in all of that as well as the academy as well as other things that you don't see things like uh, behind the scenes uh, involved in making sure our safeguarding is is top of the tree and done a, done a brilliant job on that where we've now got championship clubs coming to uh, to look at what, how we do things like that which is which is amazing yeah so uh, you know her, her she, she's, she's one of the unique people where she has a high IQ but also a high EQ and I think that that uh, that shone through in everything she's done for us. Yeah, she's leaving a bit of a legacy, really, despite only being here for a relatively short time. Absolutely. I mean, again, not, you know, not only has she, was she instrumental in, uh, in our uh, promotion, promotion win, uh, transporting Paul Hurst boxer shorts from, uh, from, from, his, from his wife to, uh, <laughs> to make sure that they, the lucky boxer shorts were in, in place, but you know, she, she's also starred in All Time Are We. She's she's been you know been involved in you know, lots of different aspects of the uh, of the organisation. So, you no, know, she goes with our best wishes, and I think it's also a good example of how hopefully people can progress their careers by by working at Grimsby Town, and a good example for for hopefully other people coming and joining us in the future. Today we've had some sad news uh, regarding uh, Town former player Peter Handyside, who, who sadly passed away. Um, he's a player who I remember with with fond mm. memories, and I'm sure you do, Andrew. I do. I mean, you know, again, he. He was part of part of the DNA of the club, wasn't he? I mean, he played must have played for us for at least ten years. Yeah. Uh, very, you know, a Rolls Royce of a defender. I mean, the closest thing we ever had to Alan Hansen, I think, uh, at the club in my in my time. Uh, just always un unflustered. Love to have him in the team today, frankly. Uh, you know, that, that that quality and that 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 you know, great players always have time on the ball, always have time to to sort of anticipate uh, anticipate uh, things. And you know, he started with us from a very young age and, and did a did a terrific, uh, terrific job. Yeah, and, and, and similar to his predecessor, Paul Futcher, who's also sadly not with us anymore, he just made, made it look easy. Exactly, exactly. No, he's just, a, just a, very, a very smooth, unflustered defender, both on the ground, and usually on the ground and in the air. You know, sometimes you get players that are great in the air and maybe not so strong on the ground, but he, he, he had everything and uh, you know, went on to have a, you know, a good career and obviously represented Scotland internationally as well. So, you know, a great... Uh, a great loss to the, to, to the club and to the world of football. Yeah, it's really sad news. 49's no age at all, so our, our thoughts go to his, his friends and family. And what's the transfer window like? Was it, were you pleased with the, with the dealings that David did? Yes, yes, it was, it was, it was good. I mean, as, as I, you know, we, had, we, had, we had some pretty clear objectives in terms of uh, players that we, we wanted to secure. There, there were a couple, unfortunately, we missed out on that uh, we'd have liked to, liked to have brought into the club, but that's not too late to, to potentially revisit those in the, in the summer. Um, an example is Denver Hume, who was someone that we were interested in the summer. That's that's now come in this window. So I think you have to have a long-term view on the on the transfer window. January is a very tough. I mean, again, it's only been three Januarys for, for us, but you know, you can, I've already seen it's quite a tough month to uh, to do business. It's generally a loan window, so we've actually done quite well, I think, to secure three players permanently. So give a little bit of continuity as we go through the uh, summer, and David can start to put uh, his stamp on the squad. And I think the fans are already seeing the. The style of play he wants to to, to deliver, and you know, then the new players hopefully will uh, contribute towards that. Fantastic! And just one final thing, Andrew. I know you're involved in the, in the making All Town, aren't we? The documentary which came out last month. Have you been pleased with the how that's been received? Oh, it's been it's been fantastic. I mean, the the the, the, the night at the cinema for the premiere was uh, was was awesome. I mean, filling up the whole of Parkway pretty much, in, you know, on, the, on that first night, and the run the, you know, the run was extended a couple of times. So no, it went it went it went, very, it went very very well. Jack and Giles who uh, kind of collaborators in, in making that I think did a tremendous job everybody who contributed uh, did uh, did a great job on, on both on and off camera but 
at the end of the day, it was the players, and you know that story is uh, will live you know long in the, long in the memory of the fans, and something that uh, we will uh, you know we, we now have memorialised. So uh, it's exciting to do that. And now, now, now whether we can also do one for the uh, the FA Cup uh, the FA Cup run, let's uh, watch this space. Okay, good stuff. Enjoy the game, Andrew. Thank right. you. Thanks.